What's up guys? So today, we're here with Genghis Khan. And for this episode, we're gonna explain all the different items you can use in Pokemon Go. We're gonna let you guys know what they do and how to get them. Let's get into it. When you open your items list, the first batch of items you'll see are potions. These are items that heal your Pokemon's HP. Potions heal 20 HP, Super Potions heal 50 HP, Hyper Potions heal 200 HP, and Max Potions, which I haven't unlocked yet, heal your HP completely. To use a potion, you just tap on it, and it'll pull up a list of all the Pokemon that you can use the item on. To use the item, you just tap a Pokemon, and my Bulbasaur just got healed by 20 HP. If a Pokemon's HP has been reduced to zero, that Pokemon is fainted, and it has to be revived before you can use a potion. So, if you scroll down a little further, you'll see a revive. You can use that to heal Pokemon with zero HP. Just like that, my Electabuzz has come back to life. Now to heal it the rest of the way, you have to use a potion. At level 30, you'll unlock Max Revives, which revive a fainted Pokemon and fully restore its HP. Sorry guys, it's a little bit too noisy outside, so we came inside to film the rest of the episode. But the next set of items that we're going to talk about are the different type of balls that you can use to capture wild Pokemon. First Pokeball we're going to talk about is the standard Pokeball. You unlock it at level 1. The next Pokeball you're going to be able to use is the Great Ball, which you unlock at level 12. It has a higher catch rate than the Pokeball. And the next Pokeball is unlocked at level 20. It's an Ultra Ball. It also has a higher catch rate than the Great Ball. And finally, the Mysterious Master Ball. It has a 100% catch rate, but we haven't seen it in the game yet. There are certain items that you can only use during wild encounters. The first one you can use is the camera. You take pictures of the wild Pokemon encounters that end up saving to your phone's gallery. The next item you can use is the Raspberry. This helps you capture Pokemon at a higher rate. And finally, the Pokeballs. You click and hold on them, you wait till the circle gets closer to the center, and then you launch it. Miss that one. If you see right there, you can also do a curveball, which not only gives you higher XP points for the throw that you do, but also allows you to get a higher rate of capturing that Pokemon, which I just did. Potions, revives, Pokeballs, and raspberries can all be found by visiting Pokestops, but there are some items in the game which you can only get as level up rewards or by buying them from the shop. The first of those items is incense. Incense is used to attract wild Pokemon to you. It can be used in a few different ways. As long as you're walking at a rate of 200 meters per minute, a Pokemon will appear for every minute that passes. If you stand around, a wild Pokemon will appear after every 5 minutes. And the way that you use it, you click on the Pokeball, you go into your item section, you scroll down until you can find the incense, you click it, and you tap it again, and you're good to go for another 30 minutes. Below incense, you'll see Lucky Eggs. This is an item that doubles all the experience you receive for 30 minutes. If you want to find out how to use Lucky Eggs to level up as fast as possible, you can watch this video here. Further down, you'll find Lure Modules. Lure Modules work like incense in that they attract wild Pokemon, but instead of using them on yourself, you place them on a Pokestop. We have a whole video about using Lure Modules which you can check out here. The final item you can buy in the shop is an egg incubator, which you use to hatch Pokemon eggs. You're given one egg incubator when you start the game that's good for infinite uses, but if you want to hatch more than one egg at a time, you'll have to buy another incubator or get one as a reward for leveling up. To use these incubators, you want to select an egg, click Start Incubation, and choose an incubator. Now that egg's ready to hatch, and in 10 kilometers, I'll have a nice new Pokemon. Hey guys, short video today, but I hope it was at least a little bit helpful. The reason it was so short is because Juan and I spent most of our time together today talking about how to protect our content moving forward. In the last few days, we've come across a lot of people using our videos without permission, and a lot of fake social media accounts using our name, so protecting our content has really become a priority for us recently. Our official social media accounts on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter all use the same name, T-R-N-R-T-I-P-S. If you see any accounts using a different spelling or variation of trainer tips, they're not us, and we'd appreciate it if you guys could let us know so that we can get them taken down. We have a big day planned for tomorrow. We'll be out playing the game with a big group of friends, so it should be a lot of fun. I'm really excited to shoot and edit it for you, so stay tuned for that. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. So now we're just gonna roll around the neighborhood. Dude, on these wheels. I caught a Pontia around here. Pontia. You Ponyta. hear that, guys? Ponyta. You hear that, guys? Pontia. Pontia is how I pronounce Ponyta because we have a special relationship. She's my favorite Pokemon. This is the thing. See how you holding that camera on a hoverboard? Now, how vulnerable do you feel? I very. <laughs>